Jim, you've known about the EPCP technology for a while. Yes. So this is the first time you've been able to get your hands on the Benjamin Rogue. And the other, the other day I actually came in here and I could yeah. see it. I, was trying to, I couldn't get over to it, so I, I've been waiting actually. So, so what do you think about this? I think it's stunning. I mean, not, not only does it look totally different, which, which I like. I mean, something same old, same old, you get tired of. This is brand new looking and the technology. Fantastic. I can't wait to actually get it out there and try it out. Yeah, Absolutely, we can't wait to get it to you. Now, your folks who are watching your show, when they, when they see you with an air gun, they're thinking, what in the world is going on? Now, what would you tell those folks when you're talking about air gun hunting while considering air gun? Oh, I mean, first of all, all of us grew up first with a BB gun, pellet gun, you know, air gun. Right, so that, that's our roots. Number two, it's the cheapest way to, to practice. I mean, I, I practice all the time with my with my pellet gun. Why would I, why would I go spend hundreds of dollars of ammunition when I can spend hundreds of cents and it take just as many shots? Sure. So, so, so that's the, the first thing. It's it's practical. Number three, these are not kids' toys anymore. Like these are these are hunting firearms that, that I can use to hunt to make my hunt more challenging. You know, it, that's why we hunt with bow and arrow. That's why I chose muzzleloader for all those years. I mean, I can't wait to go after big game with an air gun. I mean, I, I'm going to be, I'll be in heaven. It, it just increases the level, degree of difficulty, and, and I'm an adult. And I'm, you know, it brings me back to being a, a child again, having fun. You know, we uh, we visited with your daughter Eva yesterday, and she told us the story about the hog down yeah. in Texas. And I tell you, she is sure a believer now. Yeah, she she. Uh, she was hunting hogs in Texas. I was hunting javelina down in Old Mexico. And I, I, I'm getting clumsier and noisier or something. I could not get around where I wanted to, where I could get a shot. And then I got the, the phone message that she had taken this giant hog with the, the air rifle. Wow. She beat me on it. She, she was just ecstatic on the phone too. It was, it was great. In the spot that you did for Benjamin, yes. you were shooting ptarmigan. Yes. And did you eat those for dinner that okay. night with your crew? Are you kidding me? That, that, I ate every single one of them. Ptarmigan, for, for upland game hunters, and I'll say this on camera, ptarmigan are the best eating of all the upland game birds by far. So yeah, no, there wasn't, and actually, I ate all the innards. I, I did, I ate, I ate it, I was just like a wolf. I, I did, the gizzard, the heart, the liver, all that. I ate everything, yeah. That was, that was pretty good. Yeah, it was, and, and you know what, over the years, because I haven't had my, my air gun up there, I, and I didn't, what am I gonna do, blast them with a muzzleloader? You can't do that. Yeah. So finally this year, I ate like a king because right. of my Benjamin. Because you said you, you're used to uh, throwing rocks at him, so we're glad we don't do that yeah, anymore. And, and I'm not a good rock thrower. <laughs> I, I remember myself as being a lot better at it, but apparently my 100 mile an hour fastball has <laughs> is, is now turned into about a 60 mile an hour curb, curb rock. So. That's all right. Well, folks, this is Jim Shockey for Crosman here at SHOT Show 2011.